Hey guys, Dale Taylor here. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the early access features that is part of 2022 Release Wave 2. And I'm talking about the ability to configure or customize the card that is part of the sales accelerator. So in the sales accelerator, and I'll show you that in a second, you know that we have a work list, right? And then we have these little cards in there. Well, those are the ones that we can now uh, configure or customize. Let's take a look and I'll show you what you can do and how you can do that. So let's see what exactly I mean by that, right? So being able to customize the cards in the work list, what I'm talking about is the work list here in the sales accelerator. So you can see that I have all of my work items here in the work list. And you'll also notice that these different cards show different types of information depending on which record is associated with that. So for example, we're looking at Harry Bemke here, which you can see is a contact record. And what's happening here is that we're waiting for the reply of the recipient. So we actually sent him an email and now we're just waiting for that recipient reply. Now, if we look at Robin, we can see that Robin is actually a lead record, right? So we can see some different information here. And if I go down one, this is another record. This is an opportunity record that we're looking at right now. So what I'm talking about is these cards uh, can actually be configured now in 2022 release wave two. And you even see here that if I click on this, I have some actions here uh, as well that I can I can click on, right? I can skip this, I can snooze this, assign to somebody else, uh, et cetera. So all of that information, we can now uh, go ahead and configure that. So there's a couple of different ways where you can access those configuration options. You can go here to the sales insight settings, and then you can go here to the sales accelerator workspace. And what you'll notice as soon as it's loads, right, under customized workspace, you now have this work item appearance uh, item that you can click on, right? So if I click on this, this now opens my settings page and you'll notice that it actually navigates back to the sales accelerator. The other way that you can access this settings window is if you click here on this ellipse you can see here it says more options and then you can click on settings and that will open that same settings pane and that's also why you saw this navigating back to the sales accelerator so this is also where you have other individual settings right user settings whether or not you want to auto advance your steps and activities etc so I kind of like this because this, you can see here, it says lock customization. And it says here, when you lock customization and save it, it prevents sellers from further customizing the work items. The changes that you save will be applied for all sellers. So this kind of makes me feel that if you actually uncheck this, then you're just customizing or configuring those cards just for you as an individual. So I thought that was interesting. I haven't tried that yet, but I think that's what that is. Now, the other thing that I want to show here is you can actually select, you saw earlier that I had cards for different types of records, right? Different tables. I had a lead, I had opportunities, contacts, and accounts as well. So by switching this, you can see that now I can go ahead and configure or customize that particular card, right? And then below here is where you can see the preview. Now, this is kind of interesting because 
you can see here that I have two rows, this one row here and then a second row here. And I can actually have the max of four rows uh, that I can have here on this card. And the other thing that's kind of interesting is that if I actually hover my mouse here on any of these, uh, these, these columns, I almost want to say, right, you can see that I now get additional options here. So you can see here more options, right? Same thing here. So if I click on that, that's going to either allow me to add a field or add an icon, or I can just go ahead and remove the field altogether. I can also, uh, if we look at the existing fields, I actually have the ability to select another field, right? If I'm saying, I don't care about the name field, I want to show something else, I can do that. But they don't have to be record fields, right? I can also grab a related field. Now, this is from the lead table. So when we're talking about related fields, we're really looking at that one to many relationship we have, right? So for example, a lead could have uh, a, a, an account as a, a customer or a contact, right? Because we have that lookup on there. And then I can pull in data from that contact customer or account customer that you see uh, over here as well. So that's really where you can kind of pull in those related fields here. This is also how you will select right the data for those new fields right you can select your record field so let's see here um i'm going to do address one county that's not really relevant let's see if i have i'm going to do company name here uh, right so this is how easy that is the other thing you can do here if i wanted to add a field next to these two i can again just hover and click on here and then add a field now you can see that this is kind of the max right i can do three fields and then i can do an icon and again depending on what record type you're on i can either do a follow indicator or a predictive score right so leads if you have that turned on you can show your predictive score but you can see i already have that turned on up top here so i'm going to remove that same thing with the fields over here. Again, I can add a field, I can add a field. So you'll notice that you can add up to 12 fields total, right? Because we can have four rows and then we can have three columns in each row. So that is six, right? And then we have 12 total. So that's kind of interesting here. And then if I click here on the three dots here, you saw earlier those actions, right, that I was able to pick from. So here is where you can enable or disable some of those actions for this particular card. And then obviously when you're done, you want to save that. But there was one more thing I wanted to show you here that I hadn't shown you yet, which is this little icon here that usually we see an image in that, right? Well, you could you could either leave that with the record initials the record image right if that is a lead or a contact or whatever other uh, table that has a record image for that as well you can also have this little icon for the record type or you can do an icon for the activity type because remember those work items are basically very similar right they're, they're activities right what is the next up next best activity so you could pick to uh, to to choose to show that as well and then you can see here the last one here i'm sure that um, there are going to be some folks that have the ability oh these are empty sure that's why it's not allowing me to switch this back but some folks that will not have the ability to change this maybe i'm assuming this is related to a security privilege but uh, and that's where you can kind of switch this on and off. Let me actually cancel this and go back, right? If I switch this off, you can see that I cannot make any changes to this. So I'm guessing that that's why it has that little uh, button here on the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching and until next time.